Hello everybody, this is Cypher Deck, and before we get started, I want to apologize if there is any lag, if there's any vocal cracking or anything along those lines. Uh, this ship is a little bit bigger than uh, my computer can really handle, but I'm working on that. <laughs> uh, as you can see, this is my new solar cell. It is 90% solar powered and 10% uh, reactors. Uh, pretty much made the ship all the way to the end and just need a little bit more juice for these engines here. But otherwise everything else uh, worked fine just off of the solar cells. Uh, just to give you the parts of the ship, uh, this is the crew area or where the cockpit is. This is the storage area and as you can see uh, there's conveyors that are leading from here and taking items to here and I really like that look. It looks like a spine. Uh, kinda. Anyway, uh, there's that, and then in this section, this is where your refineries and your assemblers are, and then finally in here is where your uh, landing bay is, and um, your unload area is. So let's go ahead and go in here first. And this is where you would land is on this side, and then on this side is where you would unload. As you can see, I already have the ship attached. Uh, it's done unloading. Really haven't done any mining because there isn't very many uh, asteroids in this uh, save. But let me go ahead and get in here. Go down to connectors. And unlock. And lift up. Come on. Let me, let me lift up. Are you locked back again? Come on. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me go ahead and get this landed. Um, made sure that I had enough landing gears to support the ship. Um, I don't know if those two front ones, I think they're about. I think they were at the right height. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get those locked. And let's go ahead and turn the ship off. Anything to <laughs> make lag better. And as you can see here, we have this nice rotor door that um, keeps out the space bugs or whatever it is you're trying to keep out of. So let's go ahead and go down here and we'll close that up for us. And it comes together pretty well. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue into here. As you can see, this is going to end up being the right side way. Or right side up. Uh, as you can see by that uh, gravity generator. So here's the refineries. Uh, they're all connected from there. So anything that's uh, put into um, that connector. Uh, goes into these here, and then they uh, so they do what they do, turn the um, ore into whatever, and then they put it into the assembler, and then you have pre um, preset items that you have made. And then if you come down here, you will see that this is where it goes out. Okay, so let me go ahead and get back around here real quick, and now we can use the gravity. Now this used to be two gravity generators, one on each side for symmetry. I need to do that again. Um, let me go ahead and take this. Uh, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, but whenever I had it to, it was half and half. And this is uh, one of my newer features uh, to the ship. I really like glass. I don't think uh, I, I don't think I really have to say that as you've seen most of my builds have glass of some sort. Um, even the solar cell has glass around it, uh, but I thought this was a pretty nice feature to add, plus the fact that it's the floor, so uh, it, it kind of has that nice little look to it. Oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on, 
And this here is the cargo container area. Uh, one up, one down. There's a total of uh, eight on each side. Or eight up. Uh, it <laughs> There's a total of uh, 16 on each side, I'm sorry. Um, so a total of 16 on each side, uh, that's 32 I believe, if I'm, if my geek is working correctly. And then again here are the two gravity generators, I'll go ahead and turn my lights back on. Uh, two gravity generators at half, so 50, 50 equals 1G, so there we go. And we'll go ahead and continue into here. And... Voila, now we're in the crew area. Down here is where the mercenaries would stay. I guess you would have um, some kind of, I, I need to download the Sage uh, cryopods, put cryopods here, and then if we come under attack, you would um, uh, have everyone on freeze immediately and they grab their guns and whatnot, uh, kind of like they did in Riddick. <laughs> um, not pitch black but the um, animated um, comic thing so let's go ahead and go into here and we have med bays on each side they're matching uh, again extra crates just in case and then your med bay and then if people have to wait in line to get their daily shots or pills or whatever it is then they have their seats that they can sit in and then finally uh, this is bothering me so let me go ahead and get the second curve real quick There we go. Um, but then you have the, the controls, as you can see. You can see out this window, and you have this nice square that has glass in it that you can see through. It's nice. And um, I was happy that this, uh, whenever I disconnected these center posts on um, the top and bottom, left and right, that it didn't just fall to shambles. It actually held onto that uh, square. Um, and then, as you can see, there's glass making nice points all the way around this um, around this thing. So let's go ahead and get in, and we'll take her for a spin. And then I'll show you the front here. As you can see, all of those have that um, that tinted glass on it, so it shows up pretty well. And let's see, how are these doing? We need to get them into the sunlight. Where is the sun, by the way? We need to go up, looks like. It's going to be slow, but <laughs> whenever you're running everything off of, there we go. Get up to speed. And there's something I wanted to show you. Um, I don't know if this is something that's changed or this is the way it's supposed to be. Um, but let me go ahead and turn the dampeners off and we'll get to 20 ish there we go now look at the speed it's not going to work this time it's working fine anyway what I was having problems with is the speed would degrade it would go from 21 to 20 or 20.1 20 to 20 then 19 point whatever and it just keep doing that but for some reason it's working out so yay anyway this is my ship um, I'll go ahead and go back outside. There we go. <laughs> One room. Yay. Okay, I got over the list there. And then we'll go ahead and end by doing this. I hope you liked it, guys. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Oh, look at the prettiness.